Yeah, do it. Trap my tunnel in there a bit, man. Turn up, man. Solo cabin, you see this man. Iced out everything, man. For real. You mean the mic on my neck, for what? We spit hot bars around here, for real. Driving a hot car, for real. What's up, Jabel here, and today we have a new video. A Las Vegas rapper has received a lot of attention over the past few days. He is accused of some awful things involving his own kids, beating them, starving them, and keeping them in cages at an extended stay hotel. The man we're talking about is 31-year-old Travis Dawes, who goes by the rap name Trap Montana. On social media, he portrays to be living the rich life and being a good father, but off social media is the opposite of that. On June 11th, 2023, officer responded to a domestic violence call. The person who called was 33-year-old Amanda Stamper. She was hiding in the stockroom of a Walgreens, telling the dispatcher she was afraid of Travis Dawes, her husband, because he threatened to kill her and provided info about the kids in the hotel room. According to court documents, it all started after Travis and Amanda got into an argument about him talking to another woman. They went to Walgreens to pay a bill, and she went inside alone, and that is when she called. Why is he going to come after you? Because he told me he was going to kill me today. He already beat the kids up, and I'm terrified. He's beating the, your child up? The kids in their apartment. He's super violent. So how, many kid, how many kids do you guys have? I have one child with him, but he has six other kids on his own. But this is the situation, so... He, He's already been doing this for like weeks and so I finally left, right? But he's like very manipulative. Police arrived at the Extended Stay America Hotel a few minutes away from the Walgreens. Two children ages 9 and 11 locked in a dog cage and four other children were found. The horrifying image was captured on police body cam. Not only children were inside the room, but two dogs were rescued by police, a total of six kids. Travis, 11 year old, who was locked in a dog cage with his nine-year-old sibling, was severely beaten and emaciated. The kids were living in filth and without food. One of the kids in the cage said that he had to share a one large fry from McDonald's with his siblings. The badly injured child saying on video he hadn't eaten in days and that his father would hit him with belts, cords, and according to police, this pan. A detective telling the grand jury he kept saying that he was always hungry, that he needed big food because he was a big boy now, and that he would have to share like one large fry from McDonald's with his six siblings. A prosecutor to a detective, did the 11 year old mention to you how often he was locked in the dog cage? He said all day, every day. At this time, Travis is facing multiple charges of child abuse and charges of sex trafficking and living off the earnings of a prostitute in a separate criminal case. Travis was pimping his wife, Amanda Stamper, who was also arrested and faces child abuse charges. She is the biological mother of one of Doss's seven kids. In a jail interview, her husband was a monster who made her work in the sex industry and basically says she was a victim as well and denies harming the kids. I'm innocent and I wouldn't like to continue this interview without my lawyer. Travis Doss had agreed to an interview with us. Why did you think it was okay to put two children in cages? I don't think you heard me. I said I'm innocent and I would like my lawyer to be present. But Doss already admitted to the abuse in detail to police, according to this arrest report. Now he's charged with 42 felony counts. He's just scared now because of all the time he's facing. I was dealing with a monster. Stamper is charged with seven counts of child abuse. Are you guilty of those charges? No. Did you ever previously try to get the children help? Um, no, because I was scared of what he would do, his retaliation. She says Doss has had custody of his six children, and abuse escalated over the past year, with Doss forcing her to sell sex. Were you part of that abuse? Did you witness that abuse? No. The, his father would... I was abused as well, not just them, but it's, he would use, like, my children and my family, like, if I was to ever call the police, like, he would go find my family and my kids. He's just a really violent person. Were you aware that two children were locked in a cage? That's why I called the police. Stamper called 911 from the Walgreens across the street. And I just wanted them to be safe in the end, like, and I wanted everybody out of it. I just wanted him incarcerated. To prosecutors, Stamper should have protected the children sooner. I'm sorry, but I didn't do it. 
You're talking about the fear that you felt about him. And I keep thinking, if you felt that way, how did those babies feel? Oh, I know they were terrified. So terrified, the children were afraid to open the door for about 10 minutes, moments before being rescued. Now, this is one of the most saddest stories we have ever seen involving a rapper, but we shouldn't call him a rapper because he did not have any success in the music industry. And they even have a article by the New York Post where it says here, wannabe rapper. And somebody like this would not even be accepted in the music industry. I mean, the word rapper next to somebody who abuses kids does not sound right at all. And the fact that these kids went through so much is very sad. And hopefully now they are in good hands. And these two are going to be locked away for quite some time. But according to Amanda, she is claiming that she was also a victim and she was scared of Travis Dawes. And some people are saying the only reason she called was because she was for her own safety. She wasn't really concerned about the kids. She was only thinking about herself, but it is what it is. And hopefully things do get better for these kids. And that is it for this video. Leave a comment. Let me know what y'all think. But yeah, I'm out.